Hello everyone, my name is Sam Parry and it's my pleasure to be here today to introduce to you all Sentry. Sentry is an online learning platform that we use within the college to support students with their maths and English studies. What I'll be doing in this video is showing you the three best ways to get use out of it in the build up to the summer exams to ensure that students are getting the most from the platform in order to achieve their potential and have success in the summer. So first things first to get onto Sentry, go onto Google, type in the word Sentry and it'll be one of the top links. When you're clicking onto Sentry, go onto the login page and you'll be welcomed with the login, yeah, the login page. In order to log in, they will need to use their student email address followed by the word and number password one. So once again, student email address and then password one. When they sign in, they'll be welcomed by the recommended pathway, which is the first element in which Sentry can support students. The recommended pathway is dedicated to using their correct and incorrect answers to create a tailored pathway suitable to their learning needs. For example, some students who have particular strengths, they don't need to work on those. They've got those in their locker. They can focus on areas for improvement, and that's what Sentry provides improvement. From the work that Harry has put in, Sentry has identified ratio as something he could look to improve upon. If we go across his pathway, you'll see probability is also a focus for improvement and scatter graphs here as well also something you can look to improve upon so by working through these these contents this nuggets that have been provided harry can start to make progress in terms of areas for improvement and the same can be said for english so in the top right you can filter and you can have it just to english because i know not all students um, are studying maths and english so they may want just the english or just the maths nuggets so it's important to know that filter exists we can see here skimming and scanning, selecting evidence, synthesizing evidence and the differences and so on and so forth, all relevant to Harry's progression in English. So by working through those nuggets, he can make gains in the right direction by focusing on areas for improvement. What I will do now is show you what a nugget looks like, what it consists of and how it benefits. So let's go on this nugget here, sharing with a given ratio. So if we click on start, it will take you into the nugget. And you can see here that Harry has an overlay, which means he can see it in a more preferred manner. But this changes for each student. They can have it in different colors if they need to. But if we watch a bit of the video, hopefully you'll see why. Sharing with a given ratio one. You can pick whichever one you like to use. So firstly, then, we want to share 48 pounds in the ratio five to one. Okay, I won't go into too much detail there when watching the video because I imagine you guys are quite happy with your ratio this afternoon or this evening, should I say. But you can see here it offers multiple methods, so students can pick a method that works for them. And then they can go into action by practicing these questions. So Sam and Tony share 140 sweets, they divide the sweets, etc, etc. And then it gives them that practice. Now what Century is really good for is the fact that they have this learning material Am, you know, in amp amplitude, and they have it readily available. So students can go back after a question and look at it again, just to see what they may be doing wrong. They get immediate feedback with the ticks to know they've done something well, and they get a dot if they maybe not have success. So for example, if let's say Harry gets the rest of these questions wrong, he will know, and he'll be like, right, ratio, something I need to look at. You can bring that information to his math teacher in college, and then they can work on that in, in class together. But they always have this ample opportunity to go back to look at the videos to help make notes and go forward from that. The other area in which students can benefit is by completing the assignments. So the assignments are set by teachers and they are always relevant to either topics that are going to be coming up or something that they may have done in the past. So you can see here we set assignments quite regularly throughout the year in order for students to have that opportunity outside the classroom to do work relevant to their learning. You can see the smart targets that we've set as well, all of which relevant and beneficial if completed. English and maths assignments in their, in their abundance here. So any work completed in the assignments tab that has been hand selected by their teacher in order for the teacher, for the student and to make progress. So always encourage them to be looking at the assignments tab to get lots done. You can see Harry started a few here, but not quite finished. Some assignments are made up of multiple nuggets. So it may be a fact that they have to keep working through the assignment to finish it completely. But the more work they do on Sentry, the more likely they are to have success and the assignments are a great way to achieve that. The third and final way I'm going to talk to you about progress with regards to Sentry is clicking on the My Courses tab. My Courses shows you what they've been assigned on Sentry. So GCSE Maths here, English Language GCSE here as well. Let's say Harry is really struggling with Pythagoras. He has spent a lesson on it. He's done a bit of work on it and he's just not, he's not feeling great. Right. Well, what he can do is he go home, he can go on to Sentry, he can go on to My Courses, search for the nuggets exactly relevant to Pythagoras. 
So you can see here, if I type search in this search bar at the top, Pythagoras, there we go. You can see the nuggets relevant to Pythagoras that you can click on and make use of. And let's say Pythagoras mixed size, you can click on that. It will take you through to the nugget with the, you know, the learning material there readily available. And then click on the next arrow and then you have questions relevant. There we go. Now, that's essentially the top three tips in order to get the best out of Sentry. By working through the student's recommended pathway that is on their welcoming page at the start, that is Sentry's artificial intelligence providing work that they believe will benefit the student in terms of progress. The My Courses tab, where the student can search directly for the relevant nuggets based on their um, own initial thoughts and from the feedback they've had in class. And then the My Assignments tab, where students can work on stuff set by the teacher. Ultimately, Sentry is a great place for lots of learning to occur. There is work set independently by teachers and so on and so forth. And that allows students, if they want to revise, they have somewhere to go. If they want learning material, they have one place to go. And if they want to practice questions, they have a place to go. Sentry has it all. And in order for students to get the best out of Sentry, hopefully by working through those three areas, they can have that sense of success. On data analysis last year, students who met or exceeded their target grade spent twice as long on Sentry and answered twice as many more questions on Sentry than those that did not meet or exceed their target grade. In simple terms, the more time spent on Sentry, the greater the likelihood of success for students with regards to their maths and English. I hope you found this video beneficial. Um, we hope to see lots of Sentry usage in the next couple, couple of months, and we look forward to seeing students make progress and achieve their potential in the summer. Thank you for listening.